thinking, wow, I could do the same thing for American or Nordam. New at six, kids in our community shaping their future with STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Experts say students in kindergarten now will never even learn to drive a car because they'll probably be operated by robots. Two Works for You reporter Lisa Jones tells us how local kids are preparing for that in a camp that teaches them all about robots. Push that one in, that's enter. Very few of the kids at the Robots for You camp really know what they want to be when they get older. One and one. They just know that coming to a camp where they get to build robots sounds like fun. My mom surprised me by signing me up without my consent. Hunter's mother must have known that science and engineering companies need more women, like her young daughter, to eventually work and manage the industry. I love science. That's actually my highest grade in school. Last year I got 110 percent science and this year I got 100. This week, the kids will design, build, program, and operate robots. The group called STEM wants more kids to consider science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, the workforce of the future. A lot of the local manufacturers in the area do too. If we can get kids hooked on that at an early age, like elementary school, where they are like, oh, this is cool. I can use coding and I can use this robot that I built to accomplish a certain task. Then that's laying the groundwork for someday thinking, wow, I could do the same thing for American or Nordam. The kids at the Robots for You camp get to come for free, and that's thanks to some local companies and the downtown Central Library. It's newly renovated and very beautiful, and they have a, several of these labs that they want people in the community to come and use. Lisa Jones, Two Works for You.